Hi everyone, it's Michael. So I have a staggering problem for you all today. This one was sent to me by one of the viewers of my channel, and it was his own problem. So he created it himself, and I found it to be quite challenging. Uh, so if you'd like to try to solve it, feel free to pause the video. All right, so I'm gonna go over the solution. So we have a triangle ABC. H is the orthocenter. Uh, D, E, and F are the feet of the altitudes from A, B, and C. Uh, we then let P be the midpoint of EF, and Q is another point on EF such that HP is equal to HQ. AQ meets the circumcircle of ABC at K, and A, A prime is the intersection of the parallel through A to BC with the circumcircle. And we want to show that A prime K bisects the median AM of triangle ABC. Uh, so I haven't drawn the segment A prime K, but if we did draw it, then the problem says to show that it bisects AM, where M is the midpoint of BC. All right, so how do we get started here? Um, well, so one thing I thought is that if we want to show A prime K bisects uh, AM, well, the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. So an, an idea I had was to reflect point M across D. So I'm gonna call that M prime. And then if we can show that A, A prime, M, M prime is a parallelogram, um, which I'll do in just a second, then we know that A prime, M prime bisects A, M. So the problem is equivalent to showing that A prime, M prime, and K are collinear, which looks like it might be a little easier. So I'm gonna go with that approach. Um, so it's not hard to show that a a prime m m prime is a parallelogram. So I'm going to do it right here. Um, so it's clear that m lies on the perpendicular bisector of a a prime. Uh, that's true because a a prime c b is an isosceles trapezoid, and so a a prime is two d m, which is m prime m because m prime is the reflection of m over point d. Uh, that's how I defined it. And so if A, A prime is equal to M prime M, and at the same time, so those segments are equal in length and they're also parallel. So I'm going to write this out. So if you have two segments that are the same length and they're, and they're parallel, then they form a parallelogram. So A, A prime, M, M prime is a parallelogram. And so its diagonals bisect each other. So really we want to show that A prime, M prime, and K are collinear. That would solve the problem. All right, so the next thing I noticed was, um, so first um, BFEC is a cyclic quadrilateral. So that's a well-known fact. That's true because angle BFC is equal to angle BEC, which are both 90 degrees. So BFEC is cyclic. And so that means triangle FHE is similar to triangle BHC. And that looks like it could be useful because P is the midpoint of EF and M is the midpoint of BC. So P and M are basically corresponding points in those two similar triangles. Um, but the thing is they're oriented differently. So it's kind of like one is, is like the reflection of the other. Of course, you'd have to scale it also. Um, but I wanted to try to make them oriented the same way, and you'll see why in just a second. Um, so first I'm gonna state what I just mentioned. So triangle HFE is similar to triangle HBC. Uh, that's very easy to see. It's easy to show that the angles are equal because um, angle FEB is equal to angle FCB uh, and angle EFC is equal to angle EBC, okay? So this is a well-known fact. But now I'm gonna use the fact about the orthocenter that when you reflect it over a side, it lies on the circumcircle. So, the so if we let H prime be the reflection of H over BC, uh, then H prime lies on the circle omega. All right, and if that's true, I'm gonna draw in a couple more lines. Uh, that means the triangle BHC is congruent to BH prime C. Okay, so we actually have the following. So triangle BHC, it's congruent to BHC, which is similar to triangle FHE. So we now have, that means that the 
and the first and last triangles have to be similar and they're also oriented the same way which is going to come in handy all right um, so we have m corresponds to p in those two triangles because m is the midpoint of bc and p is the midpoint of ef all right um, so that looks like it might be helpful but not only that here's where we're going to use the fact that hp is equal to hq so we know that um, HP equals HQ, but it's also very easy to see that H prime M is equal to H prime M prime. Uh, that's obvious because M prime is the reflection of M over point D. So I'm gonna write this out. So since HP is equal to HQ and H prime M is equal to H prime M prime, basically that means in these two similar triangles, uh, M prime and Q are corresponding points. So basically M prime and Q break up the segments BC and FE in the same ratio. All right. And then I'm gonna notice uh, one more thing. Not only are these two triangles similar, uh, BH prime C and FHE, but the whole quadrilateral ABH prime C is similar uh, to the quadrilateral, I'm sorry, the whole quadrilateral A prime B H prime C is similar to A F H E. So I'm going to show this here. Some of you will just recognize this from properties of spiral similarities, but I'm just going to write out the full proof uh, just for completeness. So we have angle A F E is equal to angle A C B. Uh, that's true because B F E C is cyclic. And angle A C B is equal to angle A prime B C. That's true by symmetry because A A prime C B is an isosceles trapezoid. So, um, we so if you look at the two triangles A F E and A prime B C, uh, this shows that one of the pairs of angles is the same, and we can use the exact same argument for the other pair of angles. And so triangles AFE and A prime BC have to be similar. And so basically that means that the whole quadrilaterals uh, AFHE and A prime BH prime C have to be similar. All right. Um, because if you have two pairs of similar triangles, so, so BH prime C is similar to FHE and also a prime BC is similar to AFE. So that means those quadrilaterals as a whole have to be similar. And we mentioned that P corresponds to point M because they're both midpoints of a diagonal in that quadrilateral. And Q has to correspond to point M prime. So this gives us a lot of information and now we're really close to solving the problem. All right, so now I am going to use all the information I have uh, to do an angle chase that'll show that A prime, M prime, and K are collinear. All right, so, uh, so we have, ang so one way to do that is to show that angle B A prime K is equal to angle B A prime M. So I'm going to show you here how I do that. Uh, so we have angle B A prime K is equal to angle B A K, uh, which is equal to angle F A Q, uh, that's clear. And angle F A Q is equal to angle B A prime M prime. I'm sorry, this should just be B A prime M prime. And that's true because like I mentioned, since these quadrilaterals as a whole are similar and Q corresponds to M prime, uh, that means that angle FAQ corresponds to angle B A prime M prime, and so they have to be the same. And so from there, uh, if we have angle B A prime K is equal to angle B A prime M prime, then that means that angle A, that means that the points A prime M prime and K are collinear. So some of you might have just recognized this actually from properties of spiral similarities, but I've written out the full proof, okay? And then from there, we basically solved the problem. So if A prime, M prime, and K are collinear, then 
since we know a a prime m m prime is a parallelogram, then it follows that a prime k has to bisect a m because the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. So this is a really fun problem that took me a while to solve. Um, and the person who sent me this, he actually had a different solution based on something called the Y point. So he has a blog post on it, which I'm going to put in the description of my video. I hope he doesn't mind. Um, and he sent me, so his solution involved the Y point. And at first I thought it was a very different solution. But then after taking another look at it, I realized if you just tweak his solution a little bit, it's essentially the same as my solution. Uh, and so I was going to show two different solutions, but I decided just to show this one because of that. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more like this, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Uh, thanks, everyone.